it's the best feeling I've had in a while. Um, I'd say it's better than passing any test or doing anything like that, but it, playing football and getting a win, there's nothing better than playing a kid's game and doing what you love and winning. That's, that's the best feeling ever. Take us through the, the, the touchdown pass, the go-ahead one to Mike Quan. Oh, man, I mean, the O-line just they, they locked everyone up, man. Those, those guys did the best job I think they've ever done. I mean, they, they did a great job all night. Um, you know, Mike Quan ran a great route. Um, Quinn did a great job taking two and, 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 and being a love of the game guy. And you know what I mean? He just, he just Mike Quan popped and just saw it and, and it happened. So that was, that was a great, great job by everybody. When did you know you were going in and what did you feel immediately at that point? Uh, I felt an opportunity, a second chance, you know, after Louisville last week. Um, you know what I mean? It, it, it was hard not to put your head down. Um, so when God gave me the opportunity, I just kind of kind of looked and smiled and said, thank you, you know what I mean? Because uh, I've had a lot here, um, a lot of opportunities to come back here. And, uh, and, and just, just Coach Stanford for giving me opportunity. So, so I found out on the sideline and, and, and thank God for it. And, and speaking of that opportunity, you had some trouble over the summer. Does that kind of make this thing sweeter to come back from? Uh, you know, I think the thing that makes it sweeter is just being with these guys, man. These guys are, are, are my brothers and my best friends. You know, they were, they were there for me over the summer. Uh, you know what I mean? So it, 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 just, it just makes things sweeter uh, with these guys and these coaches, man, because I love every single one. How good did it feel to be able to? essentially close out the game on offense on that last drive and just oh, run the ball down the field. Oh, that was crazy, dude. Those, those offensive linemen, they, they did a great job. Uh, you know what I mean? I think we, we ran like eight yards per carry or something crazy like that. Um, so, I mean, those guys did a great job. Josh Samuels did a great job setting up his runs. You know what I mean? So it, it was a great job by the offensive unit and just, just being able to be in there with those guys. I mean, it, there's no better feeling. Even though Davis was name starter, how much did you really have to prepare this week to, to be ready just in case? And then how much did that all pay off there in the second half? I mean, like I said, you know, after last week, it, it would have been easy for me to hang my head. And, uh, you know what I mean? Just, just my drive to, to, to want to do better um, and hold myself to a higher standard. Because um, cause I knew that wasn't me. Um, I made mistakes in that game. I was jittery, man. And, and just, just being able to come back out here with these guys, like I said, these guys came over to me right when they knew I was coming in. They said, hey, let's do it. Second chances don't come for no reason. So, so that was it. You know, the message in practice all week was to finish games. When that fourth quarter rolled around, did you kind of go around to the guys on the sideline and give them a message? Yeah, I mean, I just said, hey, all week it was, it was pound your chest, put your fours up. So yeah, I don't know if you guys saw it, but every single one of us did it. And, you know what I mean? It means something. These guys care and I care. And, and you know what I mean? It's just it's just fun to go out there with those guys and play ball. And, and, and finishing that game out in the fourth quarter was the coolest thing I think I've ever done. You all were down one on the offensive line. Parker, Mason, the way they stepped in and Phil Cole's spot. Just, just how, how well did the line play today? Dude, how about Mason and Parker, dude? Those guys are those guys ball. Um, at left tackle, that's a hard thing to do. Um, so, so when they did that, it was, it was amazing. Uh, for, a, for a true freshman, then, then Parker, man, he's waited his time. He, he, he's grinded every day. He's been through three camps or four camps, man. And he's, done, he's done what he's had to do, and they did a great job in uh, addition to that line. You had the first uh, rush of over 20 yards for the WKU and the Sanford Air. <laughs> yeah. Can you walk me through that play? Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's weird for me to run. Um, so, I mean, you know what I mean? It, it, it was kind of cool. It was out of breath. Um, so, I mean, so it was cool, man. It's, I don't know. It just opened up and I ran, and it, it, it was a fun thing to do. And it's, those offensive linemen, man, like I said, they, they opened the hole up and let me go. So, Stephen, how much confidence did you gain, not just by the way the entire second half went, but right away? You come out there, and boom, you guys moved right down the field. How much did that help you mentally? Uh, it helped me a lot. Uh, last week, you know what I mean? It was my first game. And, I think three years, something like that, since my last senior year of high school game. So, so just being able to come out there and, and just getting a second chance, like I said, man, that, that thing's, it's unbelievable what God can do. And, and he gave me a second chance to come in and, and play and, and, and be with those guys I love playing with. So that, that was awesome, man, to go down to school with him. Anything else, Steve?